So Sledgehammer Games has added an absolutely meta SMG here to season five of Modern Warfare 3, and that's the Static HV. This thing's an absolute movement monster that if you're an aggressive player, you're gonna find nothing but success with this thing. I talked about how the Sapere was the movement king weapon. This is definitely gonna be the new one. You absolutely fly around the map. The recoil pattern, not so great, but it also has a lackluster damage range, meaning if you're not playing aggressive, you're not gonna find success. For the small map mosh pit, maps like Shoot House, Shipman, Doss House, you're flying around the map with this thing, you're gonna win a lot of gunfights. Let's get started with the first attachment you need, and that is the Spry 34 Light Stock. That's for the movement gain with this weapon. We are gonna sacrifice some fire aiming stability along with gun kick control, but it is the type of attachment you need to make this thing extremely viable and better than most weapons at close range. So we're gonna hide the cam here so you guys can see the statistics. You can see everything that's being gained in the movement category. And then a big one here is the 10% to the ADS. We have one of the fastest aim down sight speeds in the entire game over here to my next attachment is an under barrel once again targeting some aggression some movement some aim down sight speed the dr6 hand stop one of the main featured aggressive attachments on the channel here. It's gonna give you aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, and even more movement. So I guess I'm gonna hide the camera again so you guys can get a glance at some statistics. And then it's an additional 12% to the aim down sight speed and even more mobility on top of it. Between this and the stock, you are absolutely zooming around the map. For my muzzle, I am going with the Zem Compensated Flash Hider in order to control not only visual shake on the weapon, but also a tiny bit of recoil control. It is necessary. If you get into a medium range engagement, you are gonna need attachments just like this one in order to compete in those ranges just make it easier to hit your shots it's nothing crazy at the end of the day five percent to the horizontal recoil control 15 percent to the vertical recoil control but honestly most importantly it's going to be that fire aiming stability without it it does have a lot of shake on the weapon over here to our barrel you're going to want the auger 840 light barrel that's going to give you aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed movement speed the entire trend of the build is this kind of thing here at a sacrifice of recoil control 10 percent but at the end of the day, with how aggressive you end up playing with this weapon, you don't really notice the recoil pattern too much simply because you're not going to be taking long range gun fights. You're not going to be playing departures. You're not going to be playing invasion. You're not going to be playing really big maps with this weapon overall. In our last attachment here is a laser sight with the one milliwatt quick fire laser. This is going to be the optional attachment. If you guys want to run an optic on this thing, this is the one you do want to take off. All this is going to do is give you an extra 4% to the aim down sight speed here. And we have zero cons to running that one. So here's all of those attachments on the screen if you guys needed to pause to copy these down now would be the time to do so it looks a little funny looks a little bit like a pistol maybe like the f tag siege but it doesn't perform like it this thing's absolutely amazing i'm really happy sledgehammer decided to add two brand new weapons to the game that kind of fall into the meta simply because it's definitely going to change the pace of the game we're not going to have this a Perry meta ruling. We're not going to have the mcw meta ruling both of these are going to compete in those i'm not going to call them completely overpowered but they definitely fall within the meta and definitely weapons you guys need to level up and use because you're going to have an absolute blast just like I do. Make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me. Let's jump over to Shoot House so you guys can see what the Static HV is all about. So small little updates on the nuke front of things. So no longer is a DNA bomb a thing. It, was, it will be in a couple of my future videos here because I recorded them before the season even started. I made sure none of the weapons that I'm posting got changed, but... So... No, no more DNA bomb and streaks no longer count towards your nuke, but however, streaks still loot. So take with that what you will. Streaks still loot, so that is a vibe. I'm not going this way anymore. Oh God. Can I put my hand down? Dude, this weapon is so fast. I have it built for super fast play. Oh, it is so fast. You absolutely dip and dodge and dive around the map. And these guys are running this stink gas, man. I'm going to take a different approach. I'm not going to take them head on anymore. I'm definitely going to try to hit a flank and shoot them in the back because I can't take them head on with them throwing all that gas at me. All right, there's our VTOL. So the VTOL isn't as pressing for me to call in anymore. I'm gonna hit a hit a dash here. 
Yep. Already got another UAV. So as you can see, uh, that's what I wanted to cover. The streaks do still loop. I am vibing. I'm dipping and dodging around this map, bro. So I have this built out so aggressively. Let me just say that much. Like the aggression I can, I can put down with this thing is insane. The aim down sight speed is snappy fast. He's got a knife. Got to go. Advanced UAV. I am, dude, I am so fast. I feel invincible with this new SMG. It's like this Aperion crack. Faster fire rate. Be Recoil is definitely not as good. I died. One kill off, dude. Are we kidding? They spawned there. No big deal. We are absolutely flying around this map, and I have confidence we can lock in. Well, it's an MGB now. I have confidence we can lock that in. I just got to stay aggressive with it. Up in their face. This thing doesn't have a good damage range. That is not what it's good at. So as long as I'm up in their face, I should find nothing but success. And I have... I have another VTOL to give them here, so... I am going to do that right now. Oh, teammate better save me. I got to hit this right now. I, it kind of worked. Where I called that in. I might come up here. Vance UAV. Oh my goodness. I am just cruising. They're all right here. Not all of them. This guy die? Oh, teammate killed him. That's what it was. Oh, they're leaving. We don't like them leaving. I mean, I kind of am bullying them at the moment. So I'm definitely not surprised that they're leaving, but is this guy going to be up top? No. My whole team's bullying them. No, I don't want a mantle. I probably shouldn't hit the VTOL actually while my advanced UAV is out. Not the most intelligent thing I've ever done, because then the VTOL takes my kills off the nuke. I'm so I'm in that flow of hitting hitting my VTOL because it counted towards nukes. So it's just like a habit at this point. I need this UAV ping. Okay, so they're gonna be over here. I am on a 23. I don't know how close I am to another advanced UAV here, but that is in desperate need. If I get that one, I probably won't show. There it is. So I was close. See how fast I can just dip and dodge out of situations? That's what really puts this thing, it makes this thing insane. Oh. This guy's upstairs. I stopped because he's upstairs. I don't know if he knows I'm here. Yep, that's not good. There's my MGB. It's been a long time since I've gotten one of these. Well, whole season. Whole season since I've been able to lock in an MGB. Oh, they were pushing this. What happened? Wait, did I just call this on myself? I did. I somehow survived it. The good news about the MGB is that thing actually wins you games. So like, for example, you guys know I I rush around this map like a madman and sometimes I forget to even look at the objective. Uh, it really does help me. What? It really does help me on the front of winning games because all I got to do is when I'm feeling stressed out or I don't think I'm going to be able to come back, I'll just hit the MGB and wins me the game. Down. 
Oh, we want to come this way. You're right there. Come on. Another one there. I got a little bit of time here. I'm at 91. Depends on this next objective by the other team. Oh, my team's on it. That's tough. I'm going to have to hit the nuke here. MGB is now in. I don't know if that's going to put me over the top, to be honest. We're going to try. Well, if they're going to run at me, that's going to work. Am I at 99? This is it. 100. No! I, the MGB better get me a dang kill here. 101 is going to be the final kill count. Absolutely flying around shoot house. If you guys want to see like a no recoil build, make sure you guys go down in the comment section and let me know.